everyone, thanks so much for joining us back here with our coverage of the 2017 Gamma Trade Show here in Las Vegas. I'm Sam Healy. You're watching the Dice Tower. This is Rob from White, White Wizard Games. Good to see you. There we go. It's a little hey, bit of a tongue twister there. <laughs> you have a very ominous looking game on set up for us, so tell us about it. So this is uh, Sorcerer. Um, Sorcerer is designed by a friend of mine, Peter Schultz, okay. and it is a uh, dark Victorian horror uh, game where players are playing evil sorcerers, uh, <laughs> trying to take control, battling for control over Victorian London. Um, so no good guys. Here. There are no good guys. Everybody's <laughs> everybody's bad. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, this game is uh, the game is awesome. It's very different from the stuff we've done before. So as you can see, there's lots of components. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be very uh, high end stuff. The art and graphic design in this game are really beautiful. Yeah, it's um, it's like nothing you've ever done before and but it's, it's still really good yeah and uh, the gameplay is phenomenal but this is a whole different category game this is going to be a big box game mm -hmm. uh, it's going to have a lot of premium components it'll probably come in SM msrp 50 to 60 dollars okay. with all the uh stuff that you get um and uh, the gameplay is about an hour hour and a half uh mm -hmm. and you can play it two uh three or four players um out of the box um i have here a, a two-player setup and um, each player will have a, uh, a personal board, um, and you have the city of London laid out in these uh, in these three uh, okay. mini locations, boards. Yeah. So yeah, three locations. Uh, and at the beginning of the game, each player builds a character. And the process to build a character is very simple. There are twelve little mini decks, mm -hmm. and uh, you simply grab one deck from the first row, one deck from the second row, and one deck from the third row okay. to make your character. So, for example, if I grabbed uh, um, this one from the first row, the first row is your character's uh, name. Okay. Um, then the second row is their their bloodline, which evil god they were descended from, which gives them different magical powers. Okay. So, for example, you know, perhaps I'd uh, choose uh, the necromancer. And then the last one is uh, where you've been, where you've been training. So, uh, for example, perhaps I choose of the Screaming Coast. And okay. so, in this case, I'd my character would be Tegu, the Necromancer of the Screaming Coast. Okay. Each of these cover cards you'd put in front of you, and these would show your opponent who you were, and they e each list a special power that you okay. have that you can use throughout the game. And the remaining cards you simply shuffle together, and that and makes your deck. Your deck. Um, you have a turn that uh, um, which is shared between players. So um, one of the players will have initiative, which uh, this metal coin represents. Okay. And on you, uh, your turn, you take an action. You move your action counter down one. And there's several different things you can do. You can draw two different two two more cards from your deck. You can gain two points of energy. You can uh, play a card from your hand, or you can move one of your guys who's on the battlefield uh, with your action. And uh, playing card from the hand is very simple. If a card the uh, card has a cost in the upper left hand corner, okay. and then to pay play the card, you simply reduce your energy by that cost, and you play it on play it, uh, play it on the board. Okay. Um, there are three different locations where you can play them, and they're all separate battlefields. So if I play a minion over here, it can't affect the middle or, okay. or this battlefield right. unless I spend an action uh, to move it over. Gotcha. Um, after we go back and forth taking actions, and we're all uh, done with all of our actions, then you move on to battle, and um, you do one battlefield at a time, and um, players take turns uh, attacking with their minions, and when you attack with them, you turn them sideways to show they're used, and you roll dice equal to their offense. Okay. Um, skulls represent a hit, a star represents a critical hit, a double skull is two hits, right. and the white squ uh, squares Nothing. are misses. Okay. And uh, the critical hits, you get to assign the damage, you determine where it goes, whether it hits the opponent's side of the battlefield or one of their minions there. Um, the regular hits, the opponent then uh, assigns. Okay. Um, you also have the ability to control the dice a little bit in that um, when you play certain cards, you'll get a uh, omen token, which you put on your uh, board there. Mm -hmm. And when you roll the dice, if you don't like the result on one of the individual dice, you can spend an omen token to re-roll that die. Okay. Or to force your opponent to, to re-roll re one of their dice. Okay. Um, and um, 
You also have, uh, in addition to these minion cards, you have sorcery cards, which do something that affect the game or the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And then finally, you have uh, uh, cards that you can attach to minions. Some of them are uh, negative things you can attach to your opponent's minions, okay. and some of them are like uh, useful equipment you can attach right. uh, to your minions. Um, and uh, so you end up with a, uh, a tactical battle game with a uh, card uh, deck building uh, experience. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, game's, uh, game's really fun. Uh, uh, and you know, got a great team to it. All the uh, um, the game designers spent a lot of time researching like okay. various uh, myths and legends to create um, the the monsters that you'll be controlling okay. throughout the game. Cool. So a lot of rich flavor, super fun game. So when a location reaches its yeah, so if you can do if you do twelve damage to a location, um, you flip it over, uh -huh. and then it shows the dis uh, the destroyed city on that part, okay. and you put uh, the damage marker on your side of the board to show that, that you, you won it. it. Okay. And if you can, uh, if you win two yeah. out of the three battlefields, you win the game. Okay. Um, it, the minions who are in a battlefield that was won on both mm -hmm. sides stay there. They don't fight, but you can spend your actions to move them out of that battlefield into a portion into where, where the battle's the real, battle's uh, still, still going, going on. on. Okay. So I, I imagine this is uh, gonna. If you have four people, you're gonna have four stacks of minions. So at basically, each location. you'll have. Um, there are. Uh, there's a team version where you okay. and I will be playing together, trying to you know teaming up, trying to control. Right. And then uh, we can both play minions on our side of the battlefield. Okay. There's also a cooperative version where there's a, basically a, 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 like a boss, a big boss that you're fighting against. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, there's uh, there's a, a variety of ways to play. Like a lot of our games, we have a lot of multiple. Uh, Ways. Multiple ways yeah. to play, and you can right. you can pick your favorite version. <laughs> Definitely. All right. So that is sorcerers. Yeah, sorcerer, and that's okay, coming just out. Singular sorcerer. Yeah, sorcerer. yeah, sorcerer, and that's coming out. Um, uh, we'll have a Kickstarter for it in the next uh, few months, and then uh, we're looking to, to get into stores uh, for Christmas of okay. uh, 2017. All right. Wow, that's a pretty fast timeline. Yeah. Well, and you know, it's it's a Christmas themed game. So. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's Sorcerer. What have you got next for us? Okay. Um, so uh, next we have. I um, uh, uh, want to talk a little bit about the um, uh, the digital version of Epic Card Game. Okay. So um, our Kickstarter backers so are going to be getting. We can oh, lay yeah, it right here. Yeah. Great. There we um, go. So our Kickstarter backers are going to be getting uh, uh, Epic Digital um, uh, next week. Um, this is the Alpha, and uh, this will be the app will be out for uh, the general public probably about five or six months. Okay. Um, and in this, you can play Epic. Um, you can play in. Uh, you can challenge your friends or play random opponents uh, like you can with the Star Realms app, where you okay. can basically buy the game and then you can play as much as you want for free versus your friends or against random people around the world. Uh -huh. You can play constructed. You can play uh, the random 30 format, where you get 30 random cards and play. Okay. You can play the dark draft format where you're right. uh, drafting uh, against your friends. You can play beginner formats which are like pre-constructed decks okay. um, of, cool. of the various colors. And the beginner format will actually be free. So players who download the app to try it out, um, they have a free version that they can try. Okay. Um, and um, this is, as I said, this is coming for our Kickstarter backers next week and will be available to the general public in, uh, in a few months. In a few um, months. Okay, cool. Um, then... Um, Next thing I want to talk about is our next Star Realm set. So okay. we have a uh, small expansion uh, coming out for Star Realms. It's really cool. It's a scenario pack. Okay. And in this uh, uh, scenario pack, you'll have 20 different scenario cards. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you shuffle them up and you flip over a random one, and that'll give you rules that you're playing that particular game of Star okay. Realms under. So it might modify your starting decks. It might change. Uh, the app already does this, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's so like it's like the missions that you play against in the app when okay. you're going through the various okay. uh, scenarios, but it's for it's designed for two players and yeah. it's obviously designed to give you uh, even matchups. Okay. So there'll be um, there'll be 20 uh, different scenarios. Um, they're a lot of fun. Like. It's, it's, we can do some cool stuff with them because you might not want to play this way every single game, yeah. but because there's 20 different scenarios and you choose when you're playing them, we can do some wacky, really cool things <laughs> that, that really right. turn the game on its head and suddenly cool. you're, it really changes the um, what the... Uh, the math on which cards you want to get and uh, um, so like here is an example okay. of a scenario card so with the rush defenses card um, bases may be acquired for one one go one trade less than their printed nice. cost 
and when you acquire ships, you can put them directly on top of your deck. That's cool. So this totally changes everything because you're like, oh, I need this this ship immediately or next yeah, turn to deal right, with this. Yeah. Um, so you'll be buying things thinking about the immediate consequences of yeah. them. And the bases costing one less makes them these great bargains. But right. you have to wait for them, but the ships you're getting right away. Right. So um, so it really creates a really interesting uh, play cool. situation. Um, and uh, as usual with the Star Realm stuff, we've got some really wow. awesome art. Um, really nice. Yeah, so there's uh, a, lot of, a lot of beautiful visuals. And... Uh, uh, um, uh, this is uh, this is going to be coming uh, uh, for the summer uh, for summer. Star Realms. Okay. Um, and uh, it's going to come in one of those little blister packs, yeah. Uh, it'll be a little blister pack. It'll uh, so it'll be a twenty card booster pack, okay. um, and it'll be available at your you know at, at your local retailer. So. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the last thing we have is uh, just wanted to let people know about the campaign uh, for Hero Realms. Uh, Hero Realms. Yeah. Um, that has uh, it expe has expanded quite a bit. It's now a hundred forty four card set. Um, it's uh, it's a ton of fun. You'll be playing three different missions, uh, and um, when you get this campaign. Campaign set you it will include a, a skill tree for each of the five characters. So That's basically, cool. you'll be able to improve your uh, major ability, your minor ability. So, for example, the wizard um, can choose to spend an experience point they get playing a mission. Uh, to improve their fireball, and they'll have yeah. two different choices on which way to go. Okay. And then if you have that higher level fireball, if you spend another experience, each of those has two different ways you can go from there mm -hmm. um, to get to the highest level of fireball. That's cool. Shanling has the same thing. You can also spend experience to incre uh, increase your health. That's There's a bunch cool. of magic items. You get random ones when you play. So you'll be able to play uh, the can through the campaign a bunch of different times and build a cool. different character every time. That's neat. And the campaign missions vary from uh, basically the choices you make in the campaign missions, and you're fighting different opponents and doing different things mm -hmm. depending on the choices you make throughout yeah. the, the campaign. So is it's going to be a, solo or multiplayer? Both. both. So basically, you can play by yourself or with your friends against cool. uh, you know, against the game, uh -huh. uh, and each mission that you play against. Uh, players gain experience, might find magic items, it'll right. improve your starting deck, so you'll get more and more powerful over time. Um, the series is going to be a total of 21 encounters. The first box set wow. has three encounters uh -huh. and everything you need to bring your characters through the campaign as a whole. Gotcha. Then the the second set, which we're working on uh, now, ha has six encounters in it, and the, and the third and fourth will also have six encounters. For a total of 21 encounters, you'll be able to take your uh, character through wow. to bring them from uh, uh, bring them all the way up in levels. So. That's really cool. Yeah, it's super really fun. Cool. Now, person. I have a personal question. It's going to sure. kind of trump your uh, Q&A over there, but... Uh, <laughs> You can, have a, yeah, you can get a Q. That's yeah, fine. I get a Q&A, right? <laughs> Any chance we can see a uh, deluxe version of Hero Realms that include all the characters? So, um, possible? Like, possible. basically, we... One of the goals we had with Hero Realms is we wanted to make sure that people who play Star Realms could do it. And one of the great things yeah. about Star Realms is you don't have to be a gamer to play Star Realms. Right. Like, uh, gamers love it, yeah. but they can also teach it to their uncle or their mom or yeah. their girlfriend or boyfriend, wh whoever, who doesn't play games, and that person can get it and have fun playing. Right, yeah. So with um, uh, Hero Realms, uh, we intentionally made the box set Fairly simple right. and similar to Star Realms, so that those people could play it and so like it, over, yeah. and then um, bring in the cool stuff like the character packs and the campaign and mm -hmm. such. Because like, if you have a non-gamer friend and you're like, okay, we're going to play these characters, we're going through this multi-thing campaign, yeah. uh, it's a little much for them. But cool. if they play Hero Realms a few times, you know, you with the base set, they're very comfortable, they're happy yeah. with it. Maybe you can then bring That's in cool. the characters and then All the right. uh, you know. So that was that was our thinking on the on the way we uh, on the way we break it out, and All we right. try and give pl um, players a ton of value in the box. So for example. The $20 complete four-player game of Hero Realms, most companies would charge $40 for that and put it in a bigger yeah, box. Gotcha. So, um, right? you know, <laughs> so yeah. even if you have to buy all this stuff separately, the price is you know, pretty Understood. reasonable. <laughs> Understood. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us out there. Thank you, Rob, for thank joining us Thank you so here. much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.